Will you film when no one's watching? Will you sing when no one's listening? Will you write when not one soul will read it? Because if you can, then it's yours. Will you do it in the dark? When no one's there to tell you what to do or who you should be, and no one's there looking over your shoulder, making sure that you actually do it. There's no one grading your homework here. You're the teacher and you're the student. So will you do it when no one cares? When there's no funding, no support, when there are no crowds and no one's there to cheer you on and pump you up, will you do it then? The greatest advice I can ever give you is that you must be successful before you can ever be successful. Meaning, whatever you want to do in this life, or whoever you want to be, you must do it before you're ever rewarded for it. Because if you can't handle that struggle, you don't deserve the comfort. See, you want to be an inspiration, but you can't influence anybody if you can't influence one person first, yourself. How are you going to be that rock to someone if you can't do it now, by yourself? You want to be relied upon? You have to make it through that mud first. See, last time I checked, it's monkey see, monkey do. Not monkey hear, monkey do. Your character is defined by what you actually do. And no action speaks louder than when you do it when no one's paying attention. When there's no accountability except to yourself and your own word becomes your bond. You will be rewarded in public for what you spend years doing in the dark, alone, in your private time. Do you do it for Instagram or is that genuinely who you are? Have the water bottles just lying around the car if that's who you are. Don't clean up when someone stops by the house. You can fool people some of the time, but you can't fake life. You can't bypass universal principles that this universe was created upon. All the behaviors, all of them tie together because you bring yourself into everything that you do. So how you do anything is how you do everything. And if you want to be a legend, then there has to be something different about you. It's called congruency. Will you hold the door open when you don't get a thank you? How do you treat people you don't have to be nice to? Real legends, real ones, do the right thing, especially when there's no reward. So you better earn your stripes when no one knows your name, when no one's giving you money to continue. And you better believe in yourself when no one else does. And you better believe in some moral principles long before you're under those lights. Because the war is won before it is ever fought. Average people, they just cope through life as if it's something to get through. This is depressing, as if death is a goal. Your clock is ticking. You don't have time to get through it. My depression propelled me to greatness. Listen to this passion. This doesn't come through sitting there and being happy and okay with everything. Yes, you have to accept that things are the way that they are. But I need you to use your pain, not be used by it. How do you not understand? This was given to you, given to you for a reason, so you can grow, so you can expand. How does a muscle get built in the gym? With resistance, you need some resistance to bring out the best in you. You need some pain, some struggle, some hardship. Life was not given to you so that you could cope through it. It was given to you to thrive. We need your obsession, your all-in, not this I'll try my best bullshit. As if it's out of your hands, it is not out of your hands. Stop lying to yourself and justifying why you can stay where you are, why it's okay for you to be where you don't want to be. 
and stop telling yourself that you're doing the best that you can when you know that you haven't even begun to tap half of your potential. Before you've even seen what you're capable of, you're already starting to think about quitting and giving up on yourself. What is this to you? You're going to die. How can you not understand this? It doesn't last forever. For all we know, it could happen tomorrow. I challenge you to live with this in mind and see how you will do things differently. You won't cope, you'll thrive. You'll stop holding yourself back and always limiting your opportunities. I heard some people saying, isn't that extreme? Isn't it extreme to be obsessed, to go all in, to do everything you're supposed to do? You should have a plan B. Life is extreme. Sometimes you lose people. Sometimes tragedy hits you. Life is going to continue to be extreme. So get extreme with it. Don't wait for an extreme moment to wake you up. Because that's what happens if you don't wake up, if you don't start doing what you're supposed to do. Eventually life will hit you with something extreme just so that you'll wake up. Listen, you're not going to get out of your life alive, so play all in. Stop saving yourself for round two. There is no round two. This is the round. This is the time. This is your opportunity to show what you're made of. Today is your day. And now is the moment. Whatever you need to do, do it with your whole heart. Do it with everything, every little piece of you invested, all of your energy, no holding back. What would your life look like if you went all in and everything that you did, from the moment you woke up until you passed out on the bed at night? If you were so intense that nobody could keep up, you have that in you, you have that power within you, you just have to let it out. Yes, some people will call you extreme. When you bring out the best of you, when you give everything that you have in every situation, when you stop doping and walking around like a brain dead zombie, of course you're gonna turn some heads. If you're not drawing attention to you, that is the problem. You need attention. You need people to notice you. You want the world to know that you are here. Don't live in the shadows, not even leaving a fingerprint, not even leaving a mark. The only way to actually make a dent, the only way to actually impact people is to be extreme, is to go all in, is to do everything that you can possibly do. Only then can you realize your potential. Only then can you live the life that you truly know you're capable of, that you truly want to live. And nothing less than being extreme will be enough if you want to stop coping through life and begin to thrive.